Welcome to this shortwave radio channel, and this is our daily tip, tip number 18, I believe, for um, March 4th, 2019. And today our tip is for two reasons that I, uh, or even three reasons, I would say. First, you don't have a shortwave radio, but you would like to tune around the bands and see if maybe it could be a hobby you'd like. Well, why not use an online receiver? There are a couple of websites that I'll recommend. First one, sdr.hu, which is probably my favorite and has so many receivers from all around the world that you can tune in. Uh, you just choose a receiver and tune around is a lot of fun. The other website is Global Tuners, which is also a very nice uh, place where there are online receivers. Often they are, um, you know, sdr.hu uses Kiwi software defined receivers but the global tuners are often be uh, using real radios icons and so on that are computer controlled so you can also uh, use global tuners which is another website that's quite interesting tune around the bands and the reason why it's cool to listen in with these online receivers is say there's a broadcast that's directed to a certain target area asia for example but on frequency that you know cannot make it to your own uh, target area. So say I'm in the midday time, you know, around noon, and there's a um, there's a broadcast to Asia from, you know, I don't know, let's say Thailand on 6 megahertz. Well, I won't be able to hear that in the middle of the day, that's for sure here in Montreal. But if I use a receiver in Japan, for example, well, maybe I'd be able to listen to it. So you'll go into the list here and you know target. Oh, here's one in uh, Aki, Japan. You can click on it. You'll tune it and try to listen to stations that you know won't ever make it to your target area uh, because of the schedules and the frequencies they use. And the other one, the third reason why it could be fun to do this. Well, if you listen into a signal, you get it at home. Sometimes it's fun to compare. Oh, um, you know where are depending on where you are. What's the strength of signal? So, you know, I might be listening in here in Montreal. We're, you know, pretty much close to the East Coast. Um, and it's strong. And I'm thinking, oh, do West Coast listeners have the same signal? So then, you start, you know, I'll start looking here and saying, well, I'm going to try to find a, a receiver, you know, on the West Coast of Canada. Or there's one in, uh, in the British Columbia. Uh, look here. There's this one, VE6JY in Le Mans, Alberta. You can check out oh, in different parts. Even look, you know, different continents saying, oh, well, this this broadcast make it to uh, Europe, for example, and you tune one of the European radios and so on. So that's the tip I got today. Why not use an online receiver? And I got all the radios I need here, but I love tuning around online receivers regularly because of, you know, the broadcast that sometimes I want to try to hear that I know I can't hear. Or just uh, tuning around, you know, sometimes you're thinking, well, I'd like to listen to that broadcast, but it ain't making it really well here. Um, I'll use a receiver somewhere else and tune it temporarily there uh, to have a better signal. Or just simply tune around the bands and see all the diversity of signals, depending on where you are um, around the world. And uh, it's a lot of fun, actually. So uh, check it out. I'll post the links to both of the uh, websites sdr.hu for the uh, Kiwi SDR, and there's a really big list of receivers here. It's really nice. And, of course, Global Tuners at the same time create a free account to uh, actually log in and use the radios online. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.